What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Airborne Trucker. It's been a minute since I made a video, but I'm still here. All right, um, I'm on my second trainer. Yeah, you heard it right. My second trainer. Um, the first trainer I had that I came, uh, that I received out of orientation, yeah, he was a dud. I will not say his name, I'll keep him nameless and all that good stuff. I mean, with anything, there's gonna be good and bad, but he was definitely a dud. Um, I'm here to learn. I want to be successful and productive for the company and for myself. I want to be safe. Um, that first week of training that I received uh, prior to the Christmas break was not there. <clears throat> the lack of training that I received, I felt that, hey, if this is all the training I'm going to receive from this high speed trainer, the trainer of the quarter, uh, driver of the quarter, um, it should be top notch, but it wasn't. Um, had three loads prior to Christmas, made it all the way up to Jersey. He drove, you know, awesome, you know. Um, driving's not an issue, but the training is. So, uh, you know, went up there, delivered in Jersey, picked up in Jersey from the port, went down to North Carolina, picked up some coil, uh, delivered the coil, and let's see, after the coil, we got some uh, pulp board or something crazy like that out of North Carolina and, and deliver that. <clears throat> but that whole week, my quote unquote trainer did not train me. So guess what? I talked to my training coordinator. Make sure if you're not getting the proper training or you feel that your trainer's not doing something right, Say something to somebody. Don't just write it out. Just write it out your two weeks or five weeks until you get your own truck. The company needs to know that, hey, this guy's not doing his job. So I'm not going to name any names or anything like that, but um, I felt that I would have been a liability to the company if I didn't get correct training. And what I told my co training coordinator is like, hey, you know, if this is the only training I'm going to receive, you know, let me go back to Columbia and I can sign for my truck. And I can go make some money for you guys. But like I said, that's, that's not the right thing to do. Like I said, I made sure um, I said something to somebody. Uh, you should do the same thing. If you feel that you're not getting the correct training that you should receive. I mean, it's a lot of stuff to learn. It's either if it's, you know, from logistics, admin, trip planning, load securement, anything that you don't feel comfortable with, your trainer should be showing you everything. Any question that you have, in theory, they're the subject matter expert. And they should be able to, you know, answer all your questions. If, if they can, then they should be able to, you know, find the answers for you. So that being said, um, got a second trainer, and he's awesome. He's freaking awesome. I'm like, so I'm not going to name any names or anything like that, but uh, he's on it. You know, he's, I'm 38, he's 37. He's been with the company about uh, three or four years, and, and he knocks it out the park, you know, hands down. Um, like, so I'm here to learn. Um, he answers all questions. He's very thorough. Um, critiques you well, you know, you gotta have thick skin. If there's anything that you're not doing right, Hey, take it with a grain of salt and hey, not with a grain of salt, but you know, make sure that you're listening to what your trainer is telling you. Um, I have no trucking experience, but I have, you know, operated a, a wrecker in the army when I was in the army for, you know, 10 years, I was a diesel mechanic. Um, but great guy, you know, family man, like myself, you know, it's just me and my wife, but, you know, that's a whole nother story. But, um, went out, supposed to be Thursday, the day after New Year's, but um, we got a late load for Friday. He had to come back for the weekend. Um, we were supposed to go out for our next four weeks, but um, he had something, you know, that was pre-planned with his family that he had to take care of. So I came back for the weekend and, you know, so I'm home and, excuse me, and I'll be heading back out. Um, tomorrow morning or tonight, uh, he'll be parked up. I'll meet him out there and get our two loads delivered and start that four week grind. Um, when you have a good trainer, a hey, time will go by fast. If you're having a good time, it's going to go by fast. Um, try not to get frustrated. If you feel like you're going slow or you're not doing something right, just take your time. It'll come to you. Um, luckily my first trainer, he had an automatic. Automatic has no power. Second trainer, he's got a manual. Hey, awesome. I'll get to grab some gears. So it's, it's real good. And it is a big difference. Um, 
but listen to your trainer. You know, if, if, if they most of them know what they're doing, you know, but it's going to be good and bad with anything. But listen to your trainer. Um, he gave me some things that, you know, I should, you know, my clutch control, stuff like that. And uh, stop grinding, you know, rrr, you know, when you're shifting gears and stuff like that. I'm just it, it's, it's something different for me because I am, you know, six foot three, 260. So size 15 shoes. So it's kind of hard to, you know, get that, you know, that clutch control and, you know, stop trying to, you know, force, you know, force the gears and stuff like that. But hey, with anything with practice, you know, you get, you get better and make, makes perfect. Um, also, we're going out for four weeks. Next Friday has a scheduled maintenance in uh, Indiana. So yeah, probably see some snow. Um, like I said, good guy, you know, he's very flexible. You know, but the biggest thing is if, you know, you're coming to TMC and if you feel like you're not getting the correct training, say something to your coordinator. Like I said, I gave my first trainer, you know, a whole week. You know, he kind of wasn't really talking to me and not teaching me anything. I was just, just flapping in the wind, you know. So if you don't feel that, you know, you're it, you're not being trained properly, like I said, say something to somebody. I'll, I'll keep saying it again. I'll, I'll beat that dead horse. Say something to somebody so that is, you know, you know that it's being documented and that way you can get the correct training and that way you'll be successful when you're on your own. Um, looking forward to the next four weeks. Like I said, I mean, yeah, he's a great guy and, you know, hey, we're going to make it happen. Um, make sure asking questions. Always ask questions. You know, no matter how small it may seem, just if you're unsure, ask your trainer. Your trainer is... The subject matter expert, you know, why you're with them for two to five weeks or however long it may be. Um, I kind of sound like I'm rambling on, make sure I don't miss anything. But it's like I said, it's been a, a minute since I made a video. I'm not doing this for likes. I'm not doing it for attention. I just want to make sure I'm putting this information out there to um, the new drivers that may or may not. They're thinking about coming to TMC. It's, you know, no complaints here. You know, the... They said they want to get you home at the end of the week if you want to come home, and uh, they plan your routes accordingly. You know, um, your rider program starts 90 days after you get your own truck. Um, I think your rider your rider has to be at least uh, 10 years old, and you got to have all your insurance and all that good stuff completed. And there's a little checklist that you have to do before you have anybody ride with you. Um, just got he's got to be safe. You just got to do everything right. And, Few things to touch on right quick too. While while you're in, while you're training with your driver, that I, I mean, training with your trainer, that was not told to me by my first trainer. While you're training, do not go over seventy. You get fired. Don't get in any accidents. You'll be fired or terminated. Um. Anything that's unsafe, that's you know, it's gonna be a red flag. You will be terminated, and I didn't know that. And thank God I didn't, you know, hit anything while I was in New Jersey or have any issues, cause I'd have been terminated. Um, just you know, always take your time, be safe. You know, ask questions. You know, I really can't complain. You know, it's good start a company. It's got good benefits, good options. You know, opportunity. Just do your part. You do your part, they'll take care of you, hands down. You know, so. Probably didn't make another video, maybe another week or two or something like that, but there's a lot of good guys out here on, on YouTube or in, just in TMC in general, you know, they have, ask them anything. You know, I've ran across a few guys and, you know, they're pretty neat, pretty cool. Um, but just take them one day at a time, don't look for anything, just do your job and do what the trainer tells you to do. Um, little formula I came up for myself is a uh, safety plus securement equals success you do those two things it'll be the third thing and you'll be successful all the awards or accolades and the pay will come just just do your job have a good time doing it be safe and a hey, time will go by fast you know but um I'm at home sunny Florida 70 degrees can't complain. But hey, Airborne Trucker, signing out.
Catch you on the flip side.